Here we have a question about a chocolate sweet, which is a hollow centre. It's in the shape of a sphere. We're asked to work out the volume of the chocolate coating, coating in this sweet. So what we do know, in our formula sheet, we know how to find the volume of a sphere. If this had been a solid sphere of chocolate, it would be fairly straightforward. We would be able to work out that the radius is 12, that's a half of the diameter, and we'd plug that in, 4 thirds times pi times 12 cubed, and that would give us the whole sweet volume. However, it's hollow. It's like there's another sphere inside this sphere, which we have to remove. It's the empty space inside. So not only is there an outside radius, which we've figured out was 12 millimetres. But there's also an inside radius. It's the radius of the hollow, empty sphere inside it. Now, what is that radius? Well, the chocolate is three millimetres thick. And we know that the outside radius is 12. That leaves us 9 millimetres. 9 plus 3 is 12. That leaves us 9 millimetres for the radius of the hollow sphere inside this. So that inside radius is 9 millimetres. We could call the outside radius big R and the inside radius little r. So the idea here to find the volume that's left after we've taken away the empty space would have the whole volume that's using the large radius of 12 and then we take away the volume of the spherical space in the middle which is a sphere of radius little r. So these are the calculations we're going to do. 4 thirds times pi times 12 cubed minus 4 thirds times pi times 9 cubed. So that's the outside sphere, that's if you like the whole sphere's volume, minus the inside sphere, the empty space. So let's do that calculation on the calculator to see what happens. 4 divided by 3 times, use the pi button, times 12 raised to the power of 3. And that comes to 7238.2 and so it goes on. And from that we have to subtract 4 thirds times pi times 9 raised to the power 3. So that gives us 3053.6 and so on. So the whole volume minus the space in between, the space in the middle. Subtract these two then we get 4184 point six and so it goes on. Now it does say correct to three significant figures so that's approximately let's take that away that's approximately well it could be four one eight eighty or it could be four one ninety. Remember we're asked to three significant figures one two three one two three where is 4184, it's slightly closer to 4180 than it is to 4190. So three significant figures, 418, chopping a 4 off, stays as 418, but we do need a 0 to show us we're in the tens. It's really approximating to the nearest 10 cubic millimetres. So that's to three 
significant figures as required. Now, one other thing, there is a, a, another way of calculating this. If you look at both of these expressions, you'll discover that there is a common factor of four-thirds of pi. So we could take that common factor outside brackets, which would leave us with 12 cubed minus 9 cubed. So that's another way we might calculate that, where we would do 4 divided by 3 times pi times, and we need brackets here, 12 cubed, 12 raised to the power of 3, minus 9 raised to the power of 3, close our brackets. And that again comes to 4184, rounded to three significant figures before 180 as before. So either way, that's our answer.